and welcome to the latest in our series of Our Lockdown Stories, which is a series of short videos in which I interview some of our Kingston Liberal Synagogue members about their life as a KLS member and also their experiences in lockdown. And today we are joined by Jane Watts. Hi Jane, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing, Rebecca? Very well, and thank you so much for agreeing to be part of this project. Um, let's jump straight in, and if you could just start by telling us a little bit about yourself and about your background as a member of Kingston Liberal Synagogue, please. Okay, well, I can, I can truly say that my membership goes back to day one, because my parents were founder members and were at the original meeting which um, decided that they were going to go ahead and, and form um, a progressive, as they called it then, uh, community. Um, so I was about eight um, when, oh, that's really giving the game away now, isn't it? <laughs> but because we all know how old KLS is. But anyway, um, so I, I went, I was one of the first kids to go through the Kheda and um, also did what we, in those days called confirmation mm -hmm. um and grew up within the, the congregation it didn't really do bar and bat mitzvah in those mm. days um but yeah so i did i did a confirmation grew up within the congregation and then later um th th there was an indomitable lady who was the first musical director you may have heard tell of her her name was mari bast and she was just the most amazing character. And she had been a member uh, uh, as a professional singer of the BBC Singers. And um, she, she was incredible and had incredible pedigree in terms of um, experience performing. And so I learned a lot of the liturgical mm. music, if you like, kind of at her feet. Um, and well, not, not too literally, but you know what I mean? And um, so then uh, eventually um, uh, I took over from her and even when I moved away, um, a bit of a long story, I, but I, I joined the BBC and went up to Birmingham. But when I was first in Birmingham, I used to come back and still play for services every Friday or, or Saturday or whenever they, when they, when they were programmed for. So, um, yes. So... Um, so yes, I can honestly say, yes, I was in at the true, beginning. A true founder member, that's fantastic. That's great. I think we've had people who have been with man from early days, but you literally grew up, therefore, with, with KLS. Yes, so my, my parents were Gloria and Sydney Ward, um, mm -hmm. and um, they were, in, you know, sort of in, in, in my sort of childlike, you know, sort of... Mm image of, of what a what a congregation was mm. um it, it involved going to a lot of meetings because <laughs> they they always seemed to be at council meetings um, <laughs> they were on the rights and practices meeting uh, uh, committee my my mother for many years um organized the lay readers for mm. high holy days she was a secretary she was eventually a chair chairman of the congregation as well oh, okay so yeah Lots of meetings. <laughs> Some things don't change. No. <laughs> <laughs> These days at the moment we're doing the meetings by Zoom for obvious reasons. And Jane, I think it's actually important that our viewers know that you no longer live in the area, do you? You live in Cheltenham, is that right? I live in Cheltenham. Mm. So I, I first moved away, as I said, because I got mm. this job at the BBC. Um, and then about 25 years ago, in fact, exactly 25 years ago uh, this year, uh, my then boyfriend and I decided, oh, we might get married. Um, and so uh, he was living in Swindon. We had to find somewhere roughly between mm -hmm. Birmingham and Swindon. And we ended up at, in Cheltenham, which was a fantastic decision, actually. And um, it's a brilliant place to live because obviously there's all these mm -hmm. cultural festivals going on all the time. You're on the doorstep of the Cotswolds. Um, it's just lovely. Um, and much, much later, um, um, the what is now the, the 3C JLC, but started off as Gloucestershire um, community, was born. So when I first moved here and our children were very little, uh, we palled up with another family who I met through the National Childbirth Trust and 
we, we found out by accident because my cat was named Chutzpah um, that um, that uh, we, we were we were both Jewish and so we kind of did our own seders and you know mm-hmm. high holy days and all the rest of it before um, the shul was formed here um, but it, it is lovely to maintain my links with KLS um, because obviously geographically in normal times I can't get down to come to services at KLS that often. Yeah, well, well, I'm sure we'll talk about that more. But can I just say what a fabulous name for a cat? <laughs> he lived up to his name. I mean, he was into everything. <laughs> so, yeah, I can imagine. Anyway, before we get too sidetracked to talk about cats, let's get <laughs> let's get back to the subject. Uh, if you could just tell us a little bit about what your situation has been during the lockdown and how you've been spending your time. Yeah. Um, it, it's quite interesting. I mean, like you, I teach piano and um, I also um, teach at a school, a very, very big school, about five minutes away from, from where I live. Um, and um, so obviously overnight that everything changed there. And I also run a, 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 a lovely ladies community choir, which has been going for about 11 years now. Um, so obviously everything changed overnight um, and it became very important to all of us um, but particularly those who who lead ensembles um, wind ensembles brass ensembles and of course choirs to try and keep that spark of music making alive so most of what I've done during lockdown has been um, working towards that aim and at school um, we've been very fortunate we have a head who is really really pro the arts um and um we set up an online arts channel for via the school website uh, which showcases um art and drama and music and textiles and all sorts of things that the students do but also ex-students um so i learned a lot about video editing and turning packages around really quickly as i'm sure you have yeah um as i know you have um and um so that so that's been an important part of what we do um and for instance every year we do a midsummer music festival which is like a mini glastonbury really um and so that became an online event and the students uh, recorded all their contributions at home and then four of us went into school and presented it live on the night that it would have been Midsummer Music and we were even granted a fantastic sunset on the night so it was just brilliant. So things like that for school and we're working on it because obviously we can't do a show at Christmas we're going to do a film so I've just come back from school we've been working on the storyboard for that and how the music's going to fit in with it but then the other thing is trying to keep the choirs alive and I, I mean at Kingston you've done a brilliant job because you've played for services and sung at services and I know the choir's been online and, and, and done some really innovative things which I think is so important um so it sounds like i'm sort of evangelizing a bit for choir leaders but actually it's so important to keep it alive um and to that end i know that um some people will know that four of us from kls have been taking part in um the sessions that were organized by gareth malone um which of course started off as it was let's meet at 5 30 and sing and then that became into well he did he actually did 50 consecutive daily sessions of that ilk which takes as you know so much energy and planning and what have you but then that turned into a recording project not just recording the audio but um certainly for one song um there's a video that goes with it which um decca the record company took over um promotion of and um, that's now been um, accompanied by uh, musicians from the London Symphony Orchestra and it's been issued um, as an EP, it's a CD Mm -hmm. really, but anyway, um, uh, which is being sold um, in aid of 
um, NHS charities together, which is fantastic. But as an offshoot from that, um, a Facebook group grew up, grew out of that, um, which was people who were singing in the Great British Home Chorus, which is what this wider group was called, is called, it still exists. And um, a lot of them decided it would be lovely to do a thank you song for Gareth because, I mean, it is a stupendous amount of work that he did and the energy that it takes to do that. Um, so to cut a very long story short, we arranged um, a parody of Thank You For The Music, which included all the references to all of his warm ups and the fact that he was presenting these sessions from his posh garden shed. Um, and again, to cut that long story a bit shorter, um, they asked me to do the backing tracks, which was great. And then I did some of the teaching because it was in soprano, alto, tenor, bass format. So we were Zooming to four sometimes 500 people at a time which was quite an experience so there were four of us from from kls who in various guises were involved in all the gareth malone stuff yeah absolutely and for anyone who's watching who hasn't yet either heard the output or seen this particular video jane we've got links to it on our facebook page oh. and in our twitter account and i highly recommend you watch the thank you for the music video because it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful i wasn't involved in the project myself but watching it i just got such a sense of how important that project was and obviously we're really proud of you jane that you were the oh. pianist and involved in all of that as well so like so i'll post it again on our facebook page so people can watch it just to wrap up quickly i mean that's been like I say that's been such an amazing project for you as well as all of the other stuff that you've been talking about in terms of your involvement in the music what has your involvement been with kls during the lockdown I think that's been one of the great things about, I mean, when the lockdown started, you know, I thought I want some really good things to come out of this, as well as obviously the challenges that we were all facing. Um, and for me, one of the best things has been being able to come to um, KLS services and hear yourself and Rene and um, see, see the result of Craig's camera work and, you know, all of that. Um, but also, you know, very special, I joined for the Seder, which was so lovely, you know, because obviously, you know, we could, none of us could do the, the, the Seder room that, that, that we normally would do. And um, so that's been lovely. And also big shout out to Sandra Weber, because I've been joining in with the, um, the Hebrew classes on a Sunday morning and she's so patient. It's lovely. It's lovely. And I, I, I should also say that we've never actually met in person, have we, Jane? I no, like, I can't believe it. I, I feel like I know like you really, really, well. really well, obviously. But um, again, but because, you know, you've been attending our services virtually and, you know, you've been there in the chat and, um, you know, you've been, like you say, you were at the Sado and everything like that. So it's like, you know, it's like we do, well, we do know each other, obviously. but We, uh, we do. And, and also, of course, we belong to some of the same uh, music yeah groups as well so <laughs> exactly yeah exactly yeah. So it's been lovely and we've also had as as you've probably seen we've had people from australia join our services and things like that so gotcha. you know there really are no physical boundaries at the moment in terms of attending our services so it's been great i mean it's been absolutely great to get to know you through the last few you know the last few odd months um and well, I, I feel i feel the same in the opposite direction oh. definitely Thank you. Thank you. And as I said, we're really proud of you for all of the brilliant work you did on, on the Great British Chorus. Um, so oh, well you. done, just some incredible work. And thank you. Thank you for joining me today, Jane. It's been lovely to chat. Um, and for those of you who are watching, as you know, there are lots more where this one came from. So please stay tuned and see you all soon. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.